Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hacker Stacker channel, and today I'm going to do something to this American Eagle that's going to make some of you vomit. And that is, I am going to remove this colorization. I can hear some of you already saying, hey, you shouldn't be altering your coins, leave them the way they are. Newsflash, this coin didn't come from the mint like this. There's probably places out there that will buy these by the truckload, apply these cheesy colors, put them in a cardboard box made to look like wood, sell them on late night television and cable channel shopping networks with a certificate of authenticity. And people gobble these up for 100 or 150 or 200 dollars. But personally, I like my ladies without all the makeup. So I'm going to show you how to take this colorization off. And there's two reasons I'm taking this off. First off, I don't care for the color. And second off, this is such a poor version of it that it is almost laughable. When you look up really close at it, it's got a lot of errors in it. Registration mainly. The entire image of the colors is shifted up and to the right. So if you look close, there's registration errors all over this coin. On the dress, in the leaves of the oak, and even the rays of the sun don't even line up with the rays of the rising sun in the coin itself. So, I'm going to convert this coin to make it look like this one. Yes, this one one time looked exactly like this. And I much prefer my ladies without all this gaudy makeup. So, what do you need to do this? First off, you're going to need three bowls or three containers. One for acetone, one for soapy water, and one for distilled water. You are obviously going to need some acetone. You will need some paper towels. You will need a rag to slop up any spills and messes that you might make. And you will need some cotton swabs. That's right, this is all you need to restore this lady to her wonderful luster. Now, I know some of you are saying you shouldn't do this. Go ahead, get it out of your system, type it in down below, unsubscribe, and leave me alone. But I'm going to show those who want to do this how to do it, and do it quickly and easily. So, let's get started. First off, we're going to take a little bit of acetone, and we're going to pour it into the bowl. And it doesn't take much. And of course you want to do this in a well ventilated area. And all you're going to need to do is drop the coin in the acetone. Whoop, got a little bit of spill over there, but that's not going to hurt anything. And now we're simply going to wait a little bit. The way I view this is, since this colorization was never part of the original coin, I don't have a problem taking it off. It's like you buying a classic car that came out before the advent of air conditioning and somewhere along the line somebody add air conditioning or power steering or power door locks, power windows. And that was not original to the vehicle even if it was an option. It wasn't original to that version. And you want to convert it back to its original factory state. Now obviously this is not going to be original factory state. It's going to be a circulated coin and we are probably going to do a little bit of damage to the coin taking this colorization off. But personally I feel that it is better to not have that colorization on there. And besides, I pick these up for about $12 less at my LCS than a new one out of the case. They have a box of these, there's dozens of them in there and I picked one out and I decided to do this video with it. A few moments later. But after it's soaking a little bit, you can take your cotton swab and just carefully rub that colorization off. Now you don't want to get too aggressive with this. You don't want to sit here and grind into it. Just a very, very, very light touch is all it will take to get that colorization off of there. And if you need to use a different cotton swab, make sure you have several available. And 
I'm going to flip this over and start with a new edge to get down into these recesses. And oh my, she's looking a whole lot better now. And I'm going to make sure that I get everything off of there. I'm going to continue to lightly rub this. And I say, you don't have to sit there and try to grind it all off in the first pass. Just slowly keep working at it and you will eventually get that colorization right off. And I've only done one cotton swab with this. And I'm going to let it set for a little bit while I get my soapy water and my regular water ready to go. Now this is distilled water. This is not tap water. That is distilled water, which you can get at pretty much any hardware store or big box store. But you can see that now I've got all that colorization off of there. And I'm sure there's somebody who's going to make a comment that I shouldn't be doing this. Well, like I say, my coins, I will do with them as I please. And it looks like I've gotten everything off of there. So I'm going to dip it into my water, soapy water, and then my distilled water so I don't leave any mineral marks on it. And I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to dab it dry. And there is my decolorized American Silver Eagle. And personally, I think that that looks a whole lot better than with all that makeup on it. Now, it's got a little bit of toning on it. I don't know whether I'm going to dip it or not. And again, that is my choice to dip it. But this is how simple it is to remove the colorization on a coin that, like me, if you don't like it, and you, like I say, I get these for a lot less, like $12 less than the Brilliant Uncirculated or the Almost Uncirculated in the LCS. So I can get these for $12 less. That, $12 a piece, and when you're stacking hundreds of them, you're going to save a lot of money by doing this. And me personally, I think this is much better looking now. Now I want to let you know that I appreciate you watching my videos. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell down below to get notifications when I have new content come out. Take a look at stacking something like this and doing this. Keep on stacking, and I'll see you in the next video.